junk and poo over here in Porville. So, got cooler weather. Oh, there's a snake. Yeah, we see some big old snakes over here. So I was knocking this hay field down. We picked that up some scrap quite a few years ago. Decorative. I painted it up. And one of our regular customers gave us this windmill fan. He had it all painted up. It's pretty neat. It really gets to whipping sometimes. I put it by the window because I like looking at it. Different stuff here and there. Most of this we just picked up curbside. So we got that part knocked down. Got this knocked down over here. Most of it, I usually go over it a couple times when I get around to doing it. Starting to load another load of crap up in here. Now these little propane tanks, so they'll take them. They got another pile, but I don't even think they care if you throw them in a little pile or because they they buy actually buy propane tanks where we're at. That looks like might have a little lumen on it. I'll have to grab that. But I just got done weed whacking this over here. Brought this car out here to see if we got any bites. If we get any bites. Had a few people interested in it, but who knows. So yeah, Buick Spyro, set up for a big block, we're going to see what happens. Had the air, a couple tires, needs, needs some tires on it. Got a hole in the trunk, of course somebody hit in the racetrack. We're going to just kind of get it out of here. Got too much stuff. And I got a guy going to put in, maybe, well, he's supposed to be putting me in some uh, gutter guards. So I cleaned this area up here. I got to power wash this. And I didn't get nearly as much of that green stuff on the north end of the house till I put this fence up. For some reason, once I put that fence up, I started getting this all the time. And I found a lot of junk in there. A lot of this is going to be going in the trunk and going in the tin pile. There's a little bit of room in it. A bunch of wood that's going to get burned up. Move that little gondola out here. Just shut this beast off. I have to put straps across it because the forks are so short. And I've got a million crickets down here. And I put my ballast in here and a few, couple, three electric motors. Move that rotor tiller. That was going to be something I had running and sold this year. Didn't get to it. But. Got the bus moved out back farther. I'm going to knock all these weeds down here now. Probably parked a loader or a tractor or something up here. I usually have the tractor sitting here through the winter. Yard sale kind of crap. Most of it's going to go right in the junk. Although I do got a nice tow bar there. I'll hang on to that for the old cars. You can still tow bar the old ones. Some tin in here. And I knocked all that down. I don't know if this thing will start or not. This thing really starts hard. I gotta somehow I gotta hold my 
I had a stick or something I used. What did I do with that? A piece of curtain rod or something to push that down with. That might work. Or I could shut on it, set on it. I don't know if I can do this with a camera or not. Now I got my foot on the clutch. Choke and try it. I had it at idle for a while there. I usually have to rev it up. She's a fire now.
this more. This will really knock that high stuff down. I didn't like the newer ones you get. Well, I don't know. I'm sure they got some new ones that knock it down, but one of the cheaper ones. Anyway, just did a quick video. This is getting a little long for Porter. I hope it goes through. Nothing too exciting. Just cleaning up around here. Weather cooled down a little bit. And got a couple moving rooms I picked up moved over here and clean this area up so yeah this guy doing the gutters gutter guards I'm gonna have him put a spot for a rain barrel and he's wanting to buy this car so I'm probably gonna get the charger on and air the tires up this little bolt like I'm probably gonna sell it to him he wanted out or he claims he does but he said even if you don't want to do me to do the gutters I'm, I want to buy that car so I told him 1500 so We'll see what happens. I'm not. Uh, it's one that you can jump in and drive pretty much. So can I replace it for fifteen hundred? I don't think so. Maybe, but it's in pretty good shape over there. Well, thanks for stopping by, Porto. Have a great day. Go find a project or not. Goodbye now.